day, dear learners. Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Doc Gilma. Are you ready, class, for the next lesson? So if you're ready, just sit back, relax, and listen carefully to the topic to be discussed for today. All right, class, let's begin! The topic I will be discussing for today's lesson is all about representation of point, line, and plane. Before discussing the representation of point, line, and plane, let us have a simple recall on the basic definition of the undefined terms in geometry. Point. It has neither length nor width, but indicates direction. Point is commonly represented by a dot. It is denoted by a capital letter. So as you can see here, we have a dot and a capital letter A. This is simply read as point A. See there another dot here and a capital letter B. This is simply read as point B. Another dot here which is letter C. This is simply read as point C. Consider a line. It is a set of infinite number of points which can be extended in opposite direction. Consider the different points here, point A, point B, point C, point D, and point E. By connecting these given points here, points A, B, C, D, E, we form a line. How do we name a line? Consider two given points here. Point P and point Q. If we're going to connect these two points here, we form a line. We can simply name this as line PQ. So as you can see, this is read as line PQ. This is the symbol for the line, so we have line PQ. And we can also name a line using small letters. Consider letter L here. We can simply name this line here as line L. So take note of that. Consider a plane. It is a set of infinite number of points and lines which can be extended in all directions. Consider the given figure here. We have point A, point B, and point C. We can simply name this plane using the three given points. This is read as plane E and plane ABC. Now let's have an application on the representation of the undefined terms point, line, and plane. These are some of the objects around us that could represent a point or a line or a plane. Identify which of the following objects represent point, line, and plane. Number one, whiteboard. Whiteboard is a representation of a plane. Number two, edge of a table. Edge of a table is a representation of a line. Number three, tip of a needle. 
Yes, it's a representation of a point. Number four, laptop. Laptop is a representation of a plane. Number five, electric wire. Electric wire is a representation of a line. Number six, hallway. If you are to look on the hallway, it seems like we have two parallel lines. So hallway is simply a representation of line. Number seven, intersection of two streets. The intersection of two streets is a representation of a point. Number eight, water hose. Water hose is a representation of a line. Number nine, tip of a pencil. Tip of a pencil is a representation of a point. Number 10, artist canvas. This is simply a representation of Before we end our discussion for today, let me first share to you a passage from the Bible coming from the book of Psalm chapter 15 verse 15. Call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. Take note class. Skills are developed through constant correct practice and there will always be a room for improvement. That's all for today. Stand by for more lessons. Stay safe everyone and may God bless us all.